Hey everybody, Dylan here. Gonna make a quick Mbuna video. I uh, just watched Bali's video, Mark Bolton from the African Cichlid Hub. Uh, guy's got a great channel. I've been following him uh, pretty much since he started the channel. And uh, he's got a lot of uh, really cool Mbuna, a lot of wild cots, and a really natural looking tank. And the guy knows what he's talking about. In this recent video, he kind of tells you, he says, you know, I've done the trial and error stuff, you know, I've been there. So when I give you advice, you know, it's it's because I've done it, you know, I've, I've made the mistakes. And that's pretty much, you know, what I like to hear. I'm the same kind of person as uh, a trial and error guy and, you know, will offer my advice um, if it's something that I have specifically experienced. But uh, what he was talking about is hiding places and uh, do Mbuna... Um, really need it do do we need to create this you know rocky type habitat um like the lake you know is it um for their territories is it a must you know is are we really decreasing aggression and um i guess i have you know um an opinion of it based on you know the fish that i've i'm keeping and they're a lot different than uh say the Fishman Mark tank. Um, Mark's fish are actually much nicer than my very common aquarium bred Mbuna, you know? Um, their genetics are very, very far from the wild. They're not wild caught fish. I've said this in my video before. I mean, these are, even their parents are aquarium bred fish. They're pretty likely. Um, oh, he's uh, kind of acting up a little bit because I got the camera up here. But, um, I think because of the, you know, the generation difference from the lake, I mean, obviously a wild-caught fish is going to, uh, you know, behave differently than a, than a fish that has bre been bred for generations, you know, in an aquarium. And, uh, you know, I, there is truth to kind of breeding the wild right out of them. But, you know, these instincts are, you know, genetically um, based in these fish. So they're really not going anywhere. They're going to... Uh, be territorial and they're gonna kind of take the same uh, behaviors that they would in the lake what they have to do is adapt it to you know uh, six by two cube you know it's not it's not the lake it's a tiny aquarium and it's 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 tougher for them to try to you know uh, hold down these behaviors in a smaller space so um, what I was trying to compare my fish to, to Mark's fish is that I I need less of uh, hiding places or or I see less aggression and I I truly believe it's uh, the dynamic in this tank just because of the fish I have in here and it's not a highly stocked tank I'm not creating a lot of chaos in here and even you know the the hiding spaces are you know controlled by the dominant fish we we don't have um. You know smaller fish seeking refuge down here we have these rocks being dominated by the most dominant fish um but back to uh the fact that like i said these aren't um you know really uh pure fish straight from the lake they're uh bred to death i mean check out this ob look at him you think somebody made him of course you know one of my favorite fish i love having him in there Brutus got a ton of attitude and uh, beautiful colors, but um, like I said, he's just so far removed from the lake. And uh, you know, these behaviors uh, still exist, you know, inside in that in a Boone tank. But um, if I pulled the rock work out of there, if it was a bare tank, which I obviously I've never done, I've always kept this kind of natural rocky scape. Um, I really don't, I really don't think I'd be altering these fish's behavior too much, you know, I, I just, I don't see, um, a reason not to, a reason not to create this, you know, beautiful rocky habitat and, you know, a uh, Malawi biotope. So to, to, to answer the question that uh, do we really need hiding places for our Mbuna, um, I would say yeah, because that's how it looks in the lake. Why wouldn't you create an environment um, that these fish deserve, that it's from their natural habitat, you know? Um, 
The question is whether we really need it for the health benefit of our fish. Um, absolutely, because creating a habitat that's like their natural habitat is a health benefit for your fish. So uh, I just wanted to chime in on, on Mark's video. Uh, I hope it made a little sense here, but uh, I enjoy work, watching uh, Mark talk, especially about his boon. He's got a great tank. I'd love to upgrade to a big old tank like that someday. And uh, who knows, maybe keep some uh, uh, pure fish, you know? One of my uh, pu purest fish in here is probably the Demise and I, who I uh, got from a breeder rather than a local fish store. And even, you know, his parents are aquarium bred fish, so. Um, someday we'll get some wild caughts and uh, we'll experience with some more, uh, I don't even know the word for it, uh, it's not, it's not genealogically more advanced, it's just, you know, certain generations removed from the wild. But um, thanks for checking me out, thanks for checking the Mbooner out, I mean there are beasts in here. And uh, you know, they're local fish store fish that I've treated well and fed them a good diet and kept them in a clean tank, you know, with um, continuous water changes and, uh, you know, good scapes. So I think that plays a big part in uh, their development and their overall health more than the fact that, you know, I have rocks in here and I have places for them to hide, you know. Um, the algae grazing behavior, the fact that that is more close to their natural habitat and their natural behaviors is, you know, just as much of a benefit as there being, you know, a place for them to hide, you know. Uh, my whole point is, you know, keeping it closer to their natural habitat and their natural behaviors, uh, regardless of how far removed they are from the wild, is a health benefit for your fish, you know. It's not a necessarily, you know, territory or an aggression thing, you know, why we keep rocks and rockscapes in our Mbuna tank. It, it's because, you know, this is what the fish has been accustomed to for, you know, thousands of years. Like I said, even though these fish are, you know, aquarium bred fish, you just, you don't breed out those natural instincts, and those natural behaviors, you know, they're, they're, you know, biologically connected to the, to the fish. Particularly these guys who are so, uh, you know, specialized for the most part, you know, because they, uh, you know, evolved in a isolated lake. But that's my Mbuna spiel. I appreciate you guys listening. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Peace.